Hello everyone, welcome to Geeker Mac. According to various reports from users, whenever they try to launch the Arc browser, processor requirements not met dialog box appear with error message, your processor isn't currently supported. Accompanied by a link to Arc browser system requirement page. So if you are receiving the error message, just head over to this page and check if you meet minimum processor requirements to run the browser. In case you meet minimum requirements still seeing the dialog box, then it could be due to the bug. Let's learn how to fix it. But before we move forward, if you find this video useful in any way, please consider subscribing to the channel as this encourages me in creating more similar videos. Open File Explorer. Here you need to click on the View, Show, Hidden Items. This option should be enabled before moving further. Next you need to head over to the following location. C drive which is windows installation drive, users and your username folder, my case it's thima, after that app data, local, packages and the folder with name looks like that, the browser company dot arc, after that local cache, local, file store, arc, PC and by Arc server and then main. Here you will find two files with name current and manifest 00002. You need to delete both the files. Although it's not required, but I suggest you to restart your computer after applying this. Now launch the Arc browser. Doing this will recreate the files behind the bug. And it's possible that you should be able to run the browser without the prompt. In case you are still seeing the dialog box, then try to perform the same steps again until you are able to run the browser. Majority of the users reported that they managed to fix the issue with this solution. Also I presume that developers behind Arc browser will be looking out for this issue as well and maybe fix it in the future. Apart from this, if you are aware of another solution that helps in fixing the issue, then feel free to share in the comments as this will help other affected users. Also check for the blog post added in the description as I will time to time keep looking for new solutions and update them in the same post. So keep an eye on it. Don't forget to tell me in the comments if this works for you or not. So that's all about this video. If you find this video useful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe the channel to get notifications about more similar videos. Thanks for watching.